Hi everyone, um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be part two of my huge Bath and Body Works haul. So I told you I got some little accessories. This is probably my favorite find. Um, look at this beautiful pumpkin luminary. The beautiful little leaves, you put your candle inside of there through the little hole up there. Just look at how beautiful this piece is. It retails for, I believe it's $34.50, but just to be sure, yep, $34.50, um, but I got this um, for 50% off plus a, was it 20% off I had on me? Um, either way, it boiled down to me getting this piece for $15 after tax and coupon. Um, I just adore this piece. It's just so beautiful. I've wanted it ever since I've seen it. But I told myself I was going to wait until it went 50% off and I had a coupon to use. Um, because there's no way I'm going to pay $34.50 for it. Um, but and I'm very lucky to even have this piece because I called almost all the stores around me and none of them had it. Um, they either say it sold out the day that they even got it in. Um, and then some stores said that. Um, the first day of the 50% off sale, it was gone. And I went, like, later on in the sale. Um, I didn't even think I was going to participate in it. But when I had seen people picking this up again, um, there's just something about this piece that j has just drawn me in. And I wanted it so bad. And I called the store, and it was my outlet store. And I love my outlet store because they have stuff that's, like, 75% off, like, year-round. Um, sometimes you can find like tester candles on sale. Um, you can get like two dollar hand soaps, like practically year round. Um, if not seventy five percent off hand soaps. Um, sometimes they'll have luminaries and stuff seventy five percent off. Sometimes they'll even have three wick candles seventy five percent off. So I just love going to that store. You get so many good deals, especially, and I always go in with a ten off a of thirty. Um, they have like 50% off candles year round. They also have like a little $10 table usually year round. Um, I just love the outlet store so much. <laughs> um, there's just so many amazing things you can get and just for such a good deal. So starting off, this is the piece I got. I called and I told, asked them to put it on hold for me. I was not going to chance me coming in late and always call your store and put stuff on hold, especially if you know it's like a luminary like this or a candle it's selling out super fast they have to put stuff on hold until the end of business day and most stores will even do a 24 hour hold um most stores will do a 24 hour hold um the store in san marcus um which is the outlet store for me um i'm in texas by the way so the one in san marcus at least if you're in that area does 24 hour holds um, i've been told by multiple managers and associates there it's unanimous anyone I've asked on the phone has always said it's a 24 hour hold. Okay, oh, deep breath. Um, I love the piece. I don't know what else more I can say about it. Um, it's just absolutely stunning and I just love it so much. Um, so before I get into candles, I'm just going to do like the miscellaneous pieces, I think. These are some of the $2 hand soaps I got and these are ones that were released for this fall. So. Let me just scoot this back a bit. Two toasted vanilla chai hand soaps in the gentle exfoliating. I recently found out I'm not a fan of the gentle exfoliating formula. Um, I much prefer deep cleansing, creamy lux, and the nourishing formulas. Um, but for two dollars plus my ten off of thirty, which brought this down to I think a dollar. It's between a dollar thirty and a dollar sixty. Um, and this is probably, not probably, this is, um, it's definitely up there in my top five favorite scents. Maybe not scents, but definitely in hand soap form for sure. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, so I have two of the toasted vanilla chai hand soaps I got for $2 plus my 10 off of 30. Okay, let me take this all out real quick. I'm just having to move stuff over. So I can get to some of the miscellaneous pieces. Um, okay. So here's another 50% off find. This beautiful, I think it's like a cloche, cloche, I don't know, but it's 
for the mini candles. And it's a little ghosty. This was originally $14.50. I got $75, or not $75, I wish. Um, I got it 50% off, so it was $7.25, plus my 10 off of 30 brought it down to like $5.47, I believe. Um, so it's for the little mini candles. I love these things so much. Um, I just think that they just look so pretty, and I, I just love Halloween so much. So they had this, and they had a pumpkin one, and it was this one was just the clear winner. Um, speaking of them having tester candles, um, I picked up one. And believe it or not, um, this one wasn't one that they had on sale. Outlet stores um, have the two packs of wallflowers like on display constantly year round, I believe. And they were, I think, six dollars a pack. And then they have the little tester candles for you to actually be able to smell them and everything. Well, um, they had kitchen spice wallflowers, and I hate those wallflowers. I just don't buy them. They they do nothing for my house, at least. Um, I hate those things with a passion, but. They had it out and I asked if it was on sale and they rang it up and it was full price $10. That being said, I still picked this thing up without hesitation. So I have kitchen spice wallflower tester candle. The notes on this are nutmeg, allspice, and caramel. This scent, oh my goodness, what I would give to have this in a three wick. This scent is just beautiful. You definitely get like a caramel, but it's not like a sugary, sweet, crazy, nauseating caramel. And you definitely pick up the allspice and the nutmeg in this. Um, it's a warm, inviting, comforting scent. And I'm just glad I have a little tester candle in it now. Um, I picked up a tester candle for $3 during um, the winter semi-annual sale, um, but I was only ever able to find one. So I paid full price for this basically and I took 25% uh, off. So I got this for $7.50, give or take. Um, I just love this scent so much and to me it was worth it to get a little tester handle in this scent because I haven't seen it rumored to come back out in the three wick. I'm just gonna move this over. Run the toast of vanilla chai hand soaps. I haven't seen rumors or anything of this coming back in the three wick. Um, I'm just move it down so you can see it um so it was there was it a little crazy to pay 750 for a little tester hand with only four ounces yes um but i just love that scent so much i just i i couldn't bring myself to leave it there um and now for the like last little exciting little accessory piece i got you saw this in the thumbnail for um my single wick haul um it's the little Bath and Body Works crate. Um, and it's really big. I can't like zoom it out since a lot of it's already taken up. So I'm just going to have to set it over here. It's going to be out of focus. So let me move my camera back a little bit. Yeah, sorry. It's just going to have to be out of focus for the video. Um, there, you can see it a bit better now. Um, I'm probably just going to have to take it out because I have candles I need to show as well. So... Sorry, let me go ahead and just move some stuff over um, a little bit. Sorry I'm having to do this mid-film, but I don't really have much of an option right now. Move this back over. So there's the two toast of vanilla chai hand soaps. There's everything so far. Let me move it back out just a little bit. So there's this. Um, let me see if I can get the wording in at least part of it for the video. This is Bath and Body Works, um, uh, 97 West Main Street, New Albany, Ohio. I think that's where they first opened, and I believe that's the test store that they have in um, Ohio. Um, this was $12.50. I got this as a free item with a $10 purchase. What did I get with the $10 purchase? Okay, I remember what I got with the $10 purchase. It's one of the candles I have here. Um, I love these crates. Um, this is their medium size. Um, they have a large for $24.50 and then they have a smaller one for, I want to say $8.50. The smaller one, when they mean small, it's it's pretty small. Um, but they're so pretty cute. Um, the larger ones actually are, they're, they take up a decent amount of space. They're, they're about two of these put together. 
um, pretty much is the way it works out. They're about two of these put together and then maybe just a little bit um, longer, just a tad little bit longer, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take this out of the frame because, ooh, my apologies. Um, I'm going to have to take it out of frame because I have um, seven candles to put up there. So, But my little $10 purchase, um, to be able to get that, this is the last one that particular store had. And it's not a store I usually go to, actually. Um, it's, this is actually my first or second time ever, probably my first time ever going to that specific Bath & Body Works store. Um, and this is what I bought. <laughs> blackberry tea leaf i wanted to get this scent but it just sold out so fast um i love this beautiful frosted glass i love the label especially that little bear drinking his little tea the little black bear drinking his <laughs> blackberry tea it's, it's just so beautiful i love the label i'm gonna try not to blind you here's the lid the little leaf lid with bath and body works on it i just love everything about this candle um, wild blackberry, bramble tea leaves, and a hint of sweet orange. Oh, my, even my first guess was this was just going to be a repackage of blackberry bramble tea slash blueberry pumpkin patch from Bath and Body Works. It is not. This is, you definitely, you get like an actual, you get a hint of citrus in the background. It's just like a touch of like a fresh squeezed, almost like a, almost as if like it was like a fresh squeezed lemon or orange in like a tea um to help like clear your throat type you know how, i don't know if i'm the only person who does that definitely not because i've seen someone else i've seen other people's recipes for it but you do like honey and everything it's supposed to help um with sore throats um with colds um i'm getting back on track that's kind of what it reminds me of that's the kind of citrus you get from like a fresh squeezed citrus you definitely get um a black tea smell that's been steeped and you put just a little bit of sugar in it and you do get like a fresh blackberry almost as like it was like a blackberry preserve um wild blackberry this isn't like a this isn't like a fresh picked berry if you ask me um this is more like a you've made like a jam or jelly out of this Regardless, this is beautiful. I'm glad to finally have one for my collection. This will not be burned or chopped up um, until I can get more. I have a store around me that I've found that has about six of these, and I want to pick up at least two for Candle Day. Um, but I want to wait it out so I can get it for a really, really, really good deal. Um, it's on a higher shelf, so I fit, I'm just hoping that no one sees it or people are just too anxious to ask for someone else to help them get it because I'm tall. I'm 6'2", and like, even on my, like, getting on my tiptoes, I couldn't reach up to where they were, so, um, I think someone would have to, like, get, like, a ladder and everything and get it down, but, um, it's in my new combo white barn store we have in Austin, and it, it's beautiful in there, um, but I'm hoping no one else buys them. I'd like to buy at least two, maybe three or four, hopefully not four, maybe just three, um, of this scent, because it's nice, it's new, and I love, I just love everything about this candle. So, I'm glad I have at least one um, to hold me over until I can either buy it on Mercari for like 20 something, 18 something dollars, which is ridiculous, but it's a nice scent and I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, so, that's it for all my in store purchases. Um, this little portion of it right here was from the 50% off sale. That was just from like a regular sale as well as the little crate. Um, and what I have to show you now is from an online order. So,. Okay, I'm going to hold this one back, and then I'm going to hold this one back. Perfect. I found the two right away with really bad wicks. So, I have for you one. Two. Three. And four of the toast of vanilla shy candles I ordered online and the only reason I ordered them online is because it's an online exclusive scent um I adore this scent and it smells just like it's more of like the it's a more concentrated form of the hand soap um if you don't know what the hand soap or anything smells like, this reminds me, I, I stayed up for a while trying to think of how I could describe this scent. And this is like a, 
fresh steamed milk with just a sprinkle of spices in it um, with vanilla bean added to it. Specifically vanilla bean. It's not like a buttercream. It's not like a frosting type scent at all, but um, here are what the notes say. It's in it. Ginger, nutmeg, essential oils. Yeah, right. And notes of cinnamon and clove. Um, this is a beautiful scent. This is the label on it. Um, excuse the thumbprints, but I love these lids. Beautiful. Love the label. Love the little dog. I'm, I'm a sucker for dogs. I'm a dog guy. Um, I love the white frosted glass, um, and I especially love this scent. Now, the reason I'm holding some back is because I originally only ordered four. But I had to call customer service um, to get two replacements because two of those are replacements. I think the bottom two are replacements because two of the original ones I got came with wicks like these. Do you see that? I think this is actually the nicer looking one. The wicks are frayed at the top and everything. They're squished down. And is it this one? This one also has the wonky wicks where they're squished down and curled over already. And one of them, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this one right here. Part of it's hanging off. Um, some of the actual wick itself is hanging on by like, a literal thread. That is ridiculous. Um, and just because I'm going to chop these up and enjoy them, I'd like to maybe be able to burn one or two of them later on in the future if I so choose. I should be able to have the option, but with those wicks, you can't light those, especially when they're cracked off and barely hanging on by a thread, or if their wicks are frayed like that. Because when the last time I lit a candle like this, I bought it in store, didn't even notice it really. And they weren't even bent over like this. The wicks themselves were just frayed. Um, and I lit it and it, I don't know how to describe it. The sounds that came off of it were, it wasn't like a scary type thing either. It was just like, are you serious? Like they wouldn't stay lit. They almost went puny almost immediately. And it just kind of kept like going out and spreading out, if that makes any type of sense. Um, and at that point, to me, that's just not safe to burn. Um, you're not getting the type of burn you deserve from a candle, um, especially ones that aren't cheap. Um, even with a 25% off and a free shipping code that I got from starting new 2018 on Instagram, she had an extra message sent, she sent me. So if you happen to watch this, thank you so much. Um, because I wouldn't have any of these toasted vanilla chives if it weren't for you. And this is one of my absolute favorite scents. And I'm so happy to have it in candle forms now. Um, so thank you so much. Um, but even with the 25% off and free shipping code, these were like $9.71 a piece for a candle. And for 14 and a half ounces, I mean, that's pretty good. But it's not good if you can't actually burn it and enjoy it. Or I'm going to have trouble taking the wicks out when I chop them up and decide to use the wax on my warmers. So I had them send me two replacements for them. They didn't ask for the other two back. So um, I, I'm just going to keep them and chop them up. They didn't ask for them back. They didn't tell me to send them back or anything. Um, and I probably wouldn't have sent them back. I would have probably just asked for like a merchandise credit if they had because I just don't want to have to like package everything back up, put tape back on everything, have to get them their form or whatever. And I don't know if you have to pay for shipping to ship them back or not. Because if you do, I mean, especially not, that's just ridiculous. But um, the lady I spoke to with customer service, she was really sweet, um, got the issue taken care of. They were overnighted to me. So, and there was a little issue with that. Um, they said that they were delivered when they actually weren't. Um, and I started freaking out that night because we were rushing home. We were stuck in traffic for part of it. Um, it was just so stressful. And I come home after I get the delivery notification. I had two separate delivery notifications. That's why it was weird. Is because for the first four, the original four I placed my order with. Um, I had already received like it's um, out for delivery. And then I saw delivered. And these were ones that had already come in. They had different times and everything on them. And so when I saw the delivered text message, my heart sunk because we were out. And 
um, we had to stay there for a little bit and then we left and then we got stuck in traffic and it says delivered on front porch and so long story short when we get home after fighting through traffic and everything I come home and I lose my mind it's not on the front porch it's not off to the side areas anywhere it's not onto the side of the house it's not on the back porch it's not hidden away anywhere and I honestly thought someone had stolen the two replacements and my heart just sunk because I don't want to have to call customer service again at this point to be like hey um well someone stole the two cans you sent me as a replacement because then I feel like it's just like oh did someone really steal it you know and I just don't want to have to deal with any of that stress um, but thankfully they just came the next day. Um, I was still mad. Just like, are you serious? Like you said it was delivered and it's not really delivered. Um, but regardless, they came, um, the two replacements didn't have gross wicks. So, um, everything is good now. So here's those two toast of vanilla chai. I forgot to put those up and visible. So that's all I have for my bath and body works all plus my little mini story time, I guess, of how, um, my package said it was delivered and then it wasn't here, um, and I almost died, um, on the inside because I thought I was gonna have to call them again. So, that's all I have. Two toasted vanilla chai hand soaps, that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pumpkin luminary. The little mini candle cloak, my little kitchen spice wallflower tester candle. Six now of the toasted vanilla chai and, um, one blackberry tea leaf, just hiding, just hiding back there. Um, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. Um, if you have any of these items um, or you have burned or used any of these products, let me know what you think. Um, what are your thoughts on tester candles? That would be a good thing to let me know. Um, if Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you pick any up during semi annual sale at all? I love these things. I'm just going to keep it real short and simple. This is one of my favorite products, especially when they're at semi-annual sale. $3. These are perfect to keep in your collection. Instead of hoarding like a big 14 and a half ounce candle, hoard a little 4 ounce candle in your collection until I bring something back. And enjoy the 14 and a half ounces instead of enjoying a little 4 ounce or instead. Um, I think these would also be like great little like stocking stuffers, I guess. Like buy them up at semi-annual sale and keep them for like next Christmas maybe. Um... Yeah, that's about all I have to say. I love these tester candles. The burn on them is horrendous. They're a little one wicks. This one's actually pretty centered. Um, but I just won't even chance it. It's just absolutely not even worth it. Um, that's the label. Um, that was my little tripod. Um, and this is the little lid. So it's got the little try me sticker on there. I peeled off because those just bother me. And it had another one off on the side too. Okay, I'm really, I need to focus. Get back to the point. Um I love the scent. I love the little form it comes in because this is perfect for a little collection. Um, part of the, your collection is perfect to just hoard a little four ounces instead of fourteen and a half ounces. Um, so let me know what you think of the little tester candles down below. Um, that's all I have. So thank you so much for watching. If you stayed until the end of the video, um, 